Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different. You guys can see I'm even in a different setting today. I am in my bedroom, um, but I wanted to make this video because I want to talk to you guys about something that's on my heart, something that I wish I would have heard a couple years back when I was studying dialysis. Before we continue on, I wanna quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here. My name is Cindy Flores and on my channel I share my kidney transplant journey as well as testimony, travel vlogs, lifestyle videos, workout videos, and so much more. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. the second time I've tried filming this video um, I'm gonna try to keep myself together because this video is very emotional it reminds me of my past what I went through and you know of course it always hits somewhere deep in my heart because it's like when you go back and you reminisce and you remember everything you went through you're just so grateful that you're here and this and you're breathing and you're healthy and you're alive so I'm gonna try to get myself together and try to not get so teary that um, during this video but like I said I want to mention to you guys I want to talk to you guys about advice that I wish I would have heard before going on dialysis I remember when I first found out that my kidneys had reached end stage um, it was just me and Anthony you guys know that's Emery's dad um, we were in the hospital and I went in not because I was feeling sick or because I was feeling, you know, this, that, and the other. I went in because I was pregnant at the time and I was bleeding, so I thought I had a miscarriage. And I remember I went in there and I found out, you know, that my kidneys were failing. And it was something that I tried to ignore. I tried to ignore, I remember they said that I needed to be admitted, that I needed a blood transfusion, that this was super important, that my family should come, and that I should let them know what's going on, but I told them no, that I would rather sign medical release papers and be out because no one knew that I was there. So I remember I did that, I went against medical advice and I left. And <clears throat> during the time I ignored it, but the day I went back to, you know, to the nephrologist and when I followed up with my doctors for like my pregnancy and everything and I remember they would mention dialysis I already knew I was already going through so much you know I was pregnant my kidneys had failed but it wasn't as bad until I heard dialysis and when I heard that and like they kept pushing that and they told me that I needed to go on dialysis I immediately started to think about my cousin who was on dialysis and is still on dialysis and just everything she went through it is going through and I was just like I don't want that like I don't want that at all I don't want not even just a week or two weeks of me doing that because it's rough I don't want that but then of course I had to and I remember when I said yes to the doctors about doing dialysis. I just cried and I cried and I cried and I cried for so long. And I remember my mom was there too in the hospital and I said yes, that I was gonna do this. And she started crying as well. And I remember they were like, why are you crying? Are you scared? Like what's wrong? Everything's gonna be okay. But deep down inside, like, I was crying I don't even know why I was crying but it was just a mixture of stuff a mixture of fear of something new of a life that you know I felt like my life was you know there was no more hope it was just a mixture of stuff but what I would tell Cindy that day or anybody that is on dialysis or they are you know getting prepared for dialysis maybe getting a catheter surgery and you know you're gonna start hemo or pd what i want to say to you is that yes this is gonna be a hard ride dialysis is not easy not easy whatsoever it was one of the roughest times in my life 
it was hard. I went through a lot of alone moments. I remember I would cry in my room by myself. I remember it was hard and this is when you feel so far away, far away from everybody. I felt so far away from God. I felt so far away from just everything, you know. I felt like it was just a me trying to like survive me. It was me against my own self, me battling to, you know, get better. And my advice to you, if you are on dialysis or if you're about to start dialysis, like I mentioned, is that this is the time where you need to hold on to your faith the hardest. This is where you need to get yourself filled with the Holy Spirit, prayer, and really have your time to like meditate in God. And it's super important that during this time you surround yourself with the right people, the people that are positive, that are gonna bring you up and not bring you down, people that are not gonna stress your life, and people that are gonna encourage you on your wellness journey, like on your health journey. This is a time where you need to be truly detoxed from all the negativity because dialysis is something so hard and you're already going through so much. Your body's going through a change, a transformation. My body changed a lot. I lost so much weight on dialysis. My skin changed. I look skinnier and it was hard. It's not easy like I mentioned. But this is a time where you truly need to separate yourself from any type of negativity, any type of stress and just focus on the positive in life. Focus on every goal that you want to accomplish in life. I remember when I was on dialysis and on dialysis there are many days that you feel near death. Like you feel like you're gonna die, like you can't. And like you push, you try to push your body but at the end like you're like, okay like I need to lay down because if I don't lay down then I'm gonna pass out or I'm gonna die or you know, you know what I'm talking about if you're currently on dialysis. You feel like Sometimes your body just feels like you're gonna pass out on the chair and you're, you're not gonna wake up. But when I would feel like this, I would remember the promises of God over my life. I would remember like, God, no, this is not the end of me. You are not done with me. You know, I still have breath and you have a purpose for me. You have something, you know, I always, and I would always imagine myself as well. Like, yeah, I would like speak it over my life, but I would imagine myself preaching the gospel, preaching the word of God, like in front of people. And when I would imagine myself and just think about that, I would hold on to that because I'd be like, God, I'm going through this, but, and I feel like I'm so close to death, but I'm gonna overcome this and I'm gonna be strong because you have promises for me. You have a purpose for me. I'm gonna preach your word. I'm gonna go and do your will here on earth. like. I know that you are not done with me. And I would always just tell myself that in my mind, I would speak it out myself, you know, speak it out. And and I would trust, and I would trust, trust, trust in God. And like I said, you know, I felt far away from God because when you're going through something like this, when you're in the valley, you feel far from God but God is there you know God is there watching over you he's protecting you he's the one lighting he's the one being the light in your path so you won't fall and stumble and even though you know I didn't feel like he was near me or he was close to me I knew he was there I had that confidence and that trust that he was there in the middle of everything that I was going through and I feel like it's so important for us to remember the goals that we have in life, you know, what we want to accomplish and also which direction we're trying to go, which way we're trying to walk. And I say this because we go through times in our lives, like different seasons in our life. And I went through that season of sickness and a really fighting, a fighting to be breathing, fighting to be alive. And I learned a lot from it. I was changed mentally, spiritually. I grew and I developed a lot as a person. And I'm still in a process, guys. I'm, I'm not in a healing process like that I was before, you know. I went through my dialysis. I was going through a fighting process, growing, you know, developing, getting character. And then I went through a process of healing, you know, being grateful, this and that. Well, I, honestly, I was always grateful during my process, but I went through a process with my transplant of, of growing, of 
you know redirecting my life you know getting ready setting it up which direction i want to go and now i'm in the process of honestly we're always in the process of growing but now i'm in a different process in my life and i'm so so excited you know for what's to come and what god is doing in my life and for all the plans that i have for the future and the things that I want to accomplish, not just with my YouTube channel, but also in my personal life, um, in my spiritual life, of course. And at the end of everything that I went through, it all makes sense. And you're going to realize that too, that it's all going to make sense. In the middle of the process, we, you know, we question, we doubt, we this, that, and the other. But then at the end, it's all going to make sense. You're going to remember that only the strong survive. And God wouldn't give you anything that you cannot carry, that you cannot handle. You have been called to be a canoe warrior, not just because, oh, because God wants to punish you or because God does not. That's not who God is. You've been called because he knew you were strong enough to carry this. He knew you could do it. He knew that you were smart and that you were driven and that you were pushed to handle whatever comes your way, you know? And I always say the canoe warriors are the strongest people I know. Anybody that is fighting chronic illness or any type of illness, we are the strongest, you know, we are the strongest because we are still standing, we are still breathing, we are still going, we are still pushing, we have goals. And I couldn't be more proud of all the Kenny Warriors. I couldn't be more proud and more thankful to God and to you guys for just everything that he is doing in my life and I know that he is working in your life as well. So just remember that even when you're on dialysis and you're having the worst day on dialysis, that you are not alone. And remember that there is light. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And I promise you that. I promise you that. That you are going to overcome dialysis. And it's just going to make you stronger. You know, it's another experience. Another thing you've lived through that made you stronger. You know that saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? It couldn't be any more true. Like, I truly believe kidney disease didn't kill me. So now I'm here stronger than ever. And whatever comes my way, I can handle and I know the same goes for you. You know, kidney disease isn't gonna kill you. It's not gonna destroy you and it's just gonna build you and it's gonna make you stronger. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry guys that I keep sniffing my nose. It's cause I'm actually in the middle of like a cold and um, plus, you know, when emotions and tears, you know, start to clog up your eyes, the whole, the nose part comes with that as well. But Thank you guys so much for listening. I wanted to make this video and just speak with you guys, have this conversation, because it's so important to remind one another that we are not alone, that we are strong, and that we are going to overcome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a blessed and a beautiful day. Right now it's Christmas Eve, and yes, I'm filming and I'm posting right after. It's a bad habit that I need to, you know, get out of because I should have my video scheduled, but I've been so busy of what's going on in my personal life which i'm going to speak to you guys about pretty soon um so stay tuned for that and guys i have so many so many plans for 2020 like i want to do so much with this channel i wanted to grow and i wanted to reach more souls for god so there are going to be more spiritual things on here so thank you guys so much for watching this video have a blessed and a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye everyone